Due to remarks made by hip-hop icon Yassin Bey, formerly known as Mustaf, Drake made headlines over the weekend. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. In an interview with The Cutting Room Floor, Bey revealed that he isn't so sure that Drizzy is hip-hop at this point. Instead, he is more of a pop artist. Like, is Drake hip-hop? Drake is pop to me. Bey explained. In the sense, like, if I was in Target in Houston and I heard a Drake song. It feels like a lot of his music is compatible with shopping. You know, shopping with an edge in certain instances. These remarks were quite contentious, of course. Some people believe that this was totally disrespectful to everything that the Canadian megastar had accomplished, even while others agreed with the idea. Drake has a history of responding to these kinds of things quickly. Indeed, he accomplished just that on Monday night. The artist posted an interview about his narrative. This is an older interview where Method Man defines hip-hop. Hip-hop is a culture. Method Man said. It's the way of life, the way you dress, the way you talk, the way you walk. It's the breakdancing, rhymes, stage show, DJ. Mixing, the scratching, wordplay, that's hip-hop. Drake captioned his Instagram story with a reference to Bay's track Yumi Says. What Yumi Say Again. Let me shine my light king don't change up now, he wrote. It goes without saying that the artist is constantly on the lookout for opportunities to clap back at people who are disparaging him. Yesterday, Drake finally released his eagerly anticipated new album for all the dogs, and Joe Budden was quick to weigh in on his podcast. In commenting on the record, Budden made it apparent that he wasn't particularly impressed. He claimed that Drake is currently rapping for the children and suggested that he start hanging out with individuals his own age rather than young internet celebrities like Kai Sennett. This is like Yachty rapping. This is like he rapping for the children. However, Budden didn't entirely dismiss the Canadian hitmaker, saying that he is still the golden child and will probably succeed in any case. Wanna hear adult Drake rapping for adult people. While some people considered the critique to be fair, others, like Drake, did not. Recently, Drizzy responded on social media and became personal. He asserted that Button is nothing more than a quitter who now relies on making comments about other people's work to pay his bills. But the long tirade didn't end there. In addition, Drake asserted that Button is merely projecting his own self-hate onto others out of jealousy for his success. Drake still has to mature, according to Button's brief message in response to his remark. He added, father time is undefeated, and remarked, you'll grow up sooner or later. Drake's answer was obviously quite extreme, but for the time being, Button seems to be standing by his position. Having said that, there is definitely room for things to progress, and it's possible that Joe Budden will address his tirade in more depth at some point in the near future. Drake is receiving criticism for allegedly rapping on his new song, Fear of Heights, about his ex-girlfriend Rihanna. Canadian musician raps on the controversial song released via his eighth studio album, For All the Dogs, on Friday. Why they make it sound like I'm still hung up on you? That could never be. Gile can't ruin me. Y'all can't run me. Better him than me. He continues, apparently referencing Rihanna's anti-album and its Sex With Me song I'm anti, I'm anti Yeah, and the sex was average with you Yeah, I'm anti cause I had it with you And I had way badder bitches than you, TBH Fans instantly criticized Drake, 36, on social media for allegedly calling out his well-known ex, 35, so many years after their breakup in 2016, the Hotline Bling rapper and the Diamond singer had a brief relationship that ended two months later due to alleged scheduling issues. Rihanna stated to Vogue in June 2018 that she and Drake were not friends anymore but also not enemies either. What has altered since then that has led the One Dance singer to ostensibly disparage the love on the Brain singer is unknown. Drake rapping about Rihanna in 2023 and sounding as mature as he did in 2013 is as disappointing as it is predictable, one person tweeted. Drake dissing Rihanna on the album is crazy he's so salty I'm weak, another added. A third wrote, Drake dissed Rihanna my baby she is somewhere changing diapers for the 20th time this morning that lady does not gaff LMFAO. Referencing how Rihanna recently welcomed her second child, Riot, with her longtime boyfriend, Ayesa P. Rocky. The couple also share a one-year-old, Riza. According to Drake's supporters, his new album For All the Dogs continues to be a diss track for Pusha T. Streaming sites began to provide Drake's newest album early on Friday morning, and fans have already speculated that a few snarky bars on the song Fear of Heights are directed at his longtime foe. Drizzy makes a nasty reference to Virginia in his second verse, which either be a dig at King Push's home state or at his wife, Virginia Williams whom he previously name-dropped on 2018's Doopy Freestyle. You niggas some pussy for real. You niggas some sissy for real. Virginia, I pull up and chill. You know you can't come last day before you get caught on a date. Before you get put on a plate. Before you get slid on like skates. Before I get turned on like bass. I know that look on their face. Don't tell me you're scared of Lil Drake. Don't tell me you're scared of Lil Arby. Drake's apparent subliminal shots didn't go unnoticed on social media, with one ex-user writing, Sheesh Drake basically told Pusha T I go to Virginia, 
and chill all time see what happens you go to Toronto Elmau. Another said, Virginia I'll pull up and chill Drake pushes about to do bro bad. Another attentive listener speculated that the airline skit on calling for you makes fun of the clips rapper's recent Twitter rant whining about his problems with American Airlines. That wasn't the only song that fans connected Pusha T to. Ironically, many people believe that the opening track of For All the Dogs, Virginia Beach, would be directed at Pusha, but that wasn't the case. The summer of 2018 saw the eruption of Drake and Pusha T's beef as they traded jabs on Doopy Freestyle and Story of Adidin. More recently, Drizzy seems to criticize Farrell and King Push in the song Meltdown by Travis Scott's Utopia. While Pusha T has not yet responded to For All the Dogs, Drake just announced that he is taking a break from music to focus on his health. But I, pro I, I probably won't make music for a little bit, I'm gonna be real with you. He said on his Sirius XM radio show table for one. I need to focus on my health. First, first and, and foremost, I've been having the craziest problems for years with my stomach. Health, and I need to get right. Oh my I have God, a lot man. of other things. So I'm going to lock the door on the studio for a little bit. I don't even know what a little bit is. Maybe a year or something. Maybe a little longer. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.